Corneal transplantation or eye transplantation is a changing the clear part of the cornea which is diseased. It has been there for a long time, almost a century, and first successful corneal transplantation was done in 1905. The problem with corneal transplantation or full thickness corneal transplantation is it causes suture related problem there is chances of rejection infection so there was a constant thinking how to improve corneal transplantation procedure so in 19th century itself people have started thinking to change only the disease part of this cornea as we all know cornea has six layers so the disease layer will be changed that we call it lamellar corneal surgery so lamellar corneal surgery was first done in 1914 but success was not there because there was interface haze as the time grows people have started realizing if you dissect cornea more deep you will get better success rate and there was different technique was or uh, utilize to dissect cornea up to the desmoid membrane or predesmoid layer in 2002 anwar has invented air dissection and the big bubble technique that was a big through in lamellar surgery from there there is no looking back if the anterior cornea is damaged then we can do a deep lamellar anterior keratoplasty in which we replace anterior stroma almost 90% of the thickness so if you have any disease of anterior stroma epithelium you can do a anterior lamellar keratoplasty we call it dlk now dlk has advantage over full thickness cornea it has a faster recovery and chances of rejection is very less because the inner layer or desmoid and endothelial layer is your own so that rejection chances is much less in that so this is for the anterior lamellar keratoplasty now if the posterior layer is damaged or there is posterior endothelial dystrophy you can do a posterior layer transplantation we call it demic or desic in demic we change the only the endothelium with desmoid membrane while in desic we change endothelium along with desmoid membrane along with the stro- stroma so how we don't use a suture in that we put the layer inside the eye anterior chamber and use air tamponade to stick it to the cornea now once there is no suture there is no suture related complication and there is on, uh, only the single layer so the rejection is again less with that recovery is very fast it doesn't look like that you have changed the cornea in these cases so off late i am not doing a full thickness corneal transplantation it is limited to a full thickness stromal obesity that is in pupillary area or corneal infection most of the time we do either anterior lamellar keratoplasty or posterior lamellar keratoplasty so modern keratoplasty is about the layer changing so lamellar keratoplasty now the lamellar keratoplasty has taken over full thickness corneal transplant and most of us most of the corneal surgeon do only the layer changes because we don't want to change or sacrifice the normal tissue also along with that this is going to be a standard protocol in in future also there may be some more development coming but this uh, dlk and dmec dsec are established procedure for lamellar keratoplasties